Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Buari never come off for office, drink water, pull cup for grano, Erofido expose ammo. Not be small allegation, Erofido level against Buhari. Oh. He tell Nigerians something, say, because if problem won't come, hey, not be only go suffer the problem, or say, but then I go shop for the problem. Or for you face, say, Jack Robinson, Erofido, that don't bring the matter, say, we say, uh, you know, uh, our brother, say, what is Buari do with the office? Now, so you put mat they talk the matter, say, we say, Buari do so many things, so we say, he can't just say, uh, keep quiet for now. He can just keep quiet for now. Say, because as we they see the matter, so they say, you know, go, go down alone. You they see answer, say, no, go, go down alone. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Erufai levies allegations against Buhari why he was in office says this of some of the things that President Muhammad Buhari did. Former governor of Kanu State, Erufai, has blamed the ex-president Muhammad Buhari administration for its inability to curb terrorism in the country. Said Buhari was the main cause he allowed it happen, noting that the ex-leader allegedly allowed the, 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 his piece of advice he gave him, he rubbished it contained in, the, contained in his uh, document that I presented to the government. He did not allow it to see the light of day. He never acted upon it and Buhari never did anything about the insecurity situation in the country. Former governor of Kaduna State, Erufai, has blamed ex-president Muhammadu Buhari administration for the inability to curb terrorism and insecurity, noting that the ex-leader allegedly allowed it to grow beyond proportion. He gave, he gave direction and he also gave advice how these things can be curbed, but Buhari did nothing. The crisis continued. He spoke during the inauguration of his successor, Senator Ube Sani, in Kaduna State. Erufai said, back in 2017, I requested the federal government to designate the, the to designate and, and deal with the emerging banditry as an insurgency and unleash and unleash on them seriously and deal with the bandits the full weight of the with the full weight of the military sadly Buhari pampered them and did nothing until they became what they are today sadly this has been this nothing has been done about the insecurity of the country since 2020 up till 2022 adding upon the declaration of the federal high court it is now a matter of regret that the federal government did not appreciate or provide any appreciable pro solution to the problem until bandit has now wrecked so much havoc in the lives and property and livelihood of so many people in the country this is sad very sad muhammad buhari took it with kids gloves he never did anything tangible or made sure that the people were safe buhari took it with a pinch of salt and did not really work for the people he did it as if it was not his business the truth is buhari never acted upon every buhari never acted upon any message that was given to him although coordinated military actions began late in 2022 the job remained incomplete i therefore urge the government to sustain the pressure on bandits insurgents and terrorists and make the military act appropriate accordingly and approachably to push back this stand of darkness that has covered our nation six in the northwest and niger are the most impacted of this devastation of bandits buhari never did anything to prevent on his response to the challenge in kaduna erufai said our government worked hard to firmly confront the insecurity the challenges that emerge from what president muhammad buhari as a president never did anything about it was never a fault what you saw the governors waging war and fighting against was never really our fault the president pretended like nothing was happening and never did anything against it he allowed it to spiral and he allowed it to go as far as it went so this is erufai 
speaking and saying it was not that uh, what happened, what Buhari was largely to be blamed, advising the incoming president, the income, it all, it all come, advising Tinubu to take this insecurity seriously. He said Buhari was the cause why, you know, the country is the way it is. He said Buhari never did anything. He said Buhari did not work like he should. Buhari never really, you know, took things seriously or rose up to it. That Buhari, all the advice they gave to him, that Buhari did not even use the military against them. This zero five coming at now to say this, so that Buhari acted as though, you know, what was happening, you know, like the people, he was pampering them rather than speaking out. Say so Buhari did not do anything approachably to end the insecurity in the country. He took it with kids' glove. He did not uh, bother. He did not even mind. You know, Buhari acted, you know, like someone who, who who cannot even see between his, you know, above his nose. It's just, I beg your pardon. Buhari said Buhari did, did most of the things. You know, say Buhari never acted. He said Buhari only started acting. This Erofa is speaking now. He said Buhari only started acting in late 2022. He said that the insurgency is still there. That the havoc they wrecked in the country was as a result of Buhari's nonchalant attitude, you know, and, and, is, and is admonishing the new administration. And they should do everything, humanly speaking, possible to act now. You should do everything, humanly speaking, possible to act now and wage back this war against insurgency that has crept into our nation. He seriously blamed Buhari, you know, seriously blamed Buhari for what has happened. Say Buhari was the cause. He never acted for the people, you know. Say Buhari never acted for the people. Buhari did his own thing. He, you know, whatever whatever advice was given to him, he never took it seriously. Say Buhari never took it seriously. So these are some of the things that are going on, some of the things that are happening and why, you know, we must not, you know, we must not take things, you know, out of, out of proportion. We must be very careful in dealing and ensuring that we do the right thing, you know, making sure that Nigeria move forward. You know, every single one of us, we need this to move forward. You know, this information is so key. So all along, when they were just saying, when they were saying, oh, this happened, that happened, and Buhari will pretend. Anyway, he never really spoke about any of the matter. Anyway, it was uh, always the, we were always hearing from, you know, his, uh, we were always hearing from his media aide, all the people. We never really heard from him, you know. So these are some of the things that have gone on, some of the things that have happened. And it is important that we understand what has been going on. Okay, it is important we understand it. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, or share, subscribe. Bye for now.